Hi folks, DMX Electric here. Today our topic is the overhead service. So before the underground service became popular here, most cities in North America, the houses are fed from the power pole. You can see tons and tons of uh, overhead service in mature communities all over in North America. Want to uh, figure out how the overhead service works? Let's stay tuned. Subscribe and stay tuned. So here is everything from your main panel to the utility service. It is the first time I see the whole overhead service system laying on the floor. So here, this is the rental property of one of our customers. So you can see from the picture, the service entrance here is lower than what the new electrical code requires. We also have other problems like uh, the conductors here is not sound resistant. And we also need to relocate the main panel and uh, even for the a meter box, the new code has the new requirement. So basically, we have to start, get rid of everything and build everything new. So first showing you here is the power meter box with the disconnect. The reason why we have the combo here is because we need to move the new panel away from where it was before and that is over three meters so in order to avoid using the rigid conduit inside of the basement which is harder for us in this case we have to use this combo set there is a new requirement of the hot and neutral right now need to be isolated from the meter box so basically, you need a floating neutral. The older ones normally is bonded directly to the meter box. So here, we use a 1 inch and a quarter rigid conduit, which is pretty much the industry standard. So we use the rigid conduit as the raceway, also as the support for the power, power line coming to the house. And you can see those galvanized hardware are used to secure the rigid conduit. It's not only for the overhead service, like even for the new uh, underground service, looks like we need that hardware to secure the conduit. So here is the service entrance weather head and the service attachment. Actually, they are the same uh, service head as the telecommunication service head, just slightly bigger. And here is the roof kit. Make sure it's waterproof, watertight. And here I show some uh, professional how they do their job properly for your reference. When we come to do the installation, make sure all the holes are properly sealed. We use the duct seal to fill all the bigger holes and also use silicone to make sure it's watertight. Also, you can see we use some uh, uh, vinyl siding trim kits to make sure it looks nicer. And finally, we pull the wire and do the termination. And that is another good job for another day. Thanks for watching.